Well, this one we're having a real life scenario of sequences. It says that you work as a salesperson for a particular home builder. You're, and with this home builder, you're going to receive a salary plus some sort of commission. The total that you receive for the first house, in other words, the salary plus the commission on the first house is $2,500. For each additional home that you sell, you receive $1,100. So how much would you make if you sell six homes? Well, we can just kind of keep adding 1100 onto this every single time and it would get us there, but there's an easier route to do this, and that's if we can bring this into a formula. And first we have to determine if this one is an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. And the way that we determine that, a geometric sequence is when we're multiplying it by something every time, the same factor every time we're being multiplied. And arithmetic is that we're adding it or subtracting a certain figure, the same figure every time. And this one we're adding 1100, so this one is arithmetic sequence. So now that we know that, we can bring in our formula for arithmetic sequences. And really what we're going to start doing is just kind of plug in what you know. Uh, we know that the first term in the sequence is going to be 2500. That's if we sell one house, we'll get $2,500. The difference here is going to be 1100, and the difference being how much money you receive per house that you sell in, in uh, uh, above and beyond that first home. Okay, so now we're going to plug those in right here, and this is our first term. A of 1 is our first term. Difference is 1100 here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're asked to find how much we'd make if we sell six homes. So now what we're going to do is plug in six for n. So n here and n here we're going to plug in just plain old number six is fine. And now what we have to do is simplify the right hand side. So six minus one is five. Five times 1100 is 5500. We're going to simply add these two together. 2500 plus 5500 would give me 8000. Now you can normally put the dollar sign under that would be fine. If you're doing it on the computer Leave any sort of labels off. Don't put any decimals. Just write 11,000. We'll be fine.